So our final race from Wing Canton is race seven. It's the Badgers Owl Trophy Handicap Chase over three miles and a furlong. So here are the runners: Dawn Ranger for David Robertson, Bridge Cape for Darren Thompson, Art Teacher for Leon Van Rensburg, Master of Shadows for Joshua Southern, and Craig Beck with subcontract on What No Sun. Q Card for David Hooley, Lawn Tennis for Pontypool Racing, A Biddy for the Legend for John Morgan, Louise Practice for Martin Leadham, Xenophon Croy for James Shea, and Miller Train Slain for Thomas Rogers. And Vinnie Gerard brings Ozak Lago, or Lago to make up 13 here to go over three miles in a furlong. Let's see who can win the Badgers Owl Trophy Handicap. We're into the first. Oh, and we've lost one. And it is a Louise Practice. It's Martin Leadham's. They're all together there. Could have been any of them for him. But poor old Martin Leadham loses one. And it looks like his horse is going to be the first to jump at the second. Just minus the jockey. But it's Master of Shadows of Josh Southern that leads us. From subcontractor and Xenophon Croy. All being held up as they get to the third, the leaders over it. This is the rest of all slow jump there. The rear by Ozark and Lego. Bottom weight. So that him have an advantage. Just because he's number 13 on the card, he doesn't need to be in the 13th place. Someone needs to tell him. So it's Master of Shadows that leads us from the loose horse. Louis practice. If they get over the fourth. Got lawn tennis and art teacher wide, bit of legend up against the fence, blue silk, yellow cap, and then followed through by Miller Train Slain. We go over the water, all over that. And the green silks of Xenophon Croy up against the fence, and Craig Beck with subcontract. Inside of that is Bridged Cape, and then What No Sun, Dawn Ranger towards the rear, and purple silks of Q Card. Two and a half miles to us to go. It's Master of Shadow that leads them over the seventh. Oh, we've lost. Oh, we've lost Art Teacher there. Threw himself into it. It was in second. Unlucky to Leon. Down a one. So it's still Master of the Shadows. Master of Shadows. And he goes over the eighth. Takes it well. And the chasing pack being led now by Lawn Tennis, the great. Inside of that is Xenophon, Xenophon Croy. David Robertson's a Biddyford legend. To the ninth of the ditch. He's over that. A couple of slow jumps towards the rear, but nothing to worry about at this stage. So through roughly a mile and a half now. As we come down to the final two miles. It's Master of Shadows that leads us by about four to center from Croy and Lawn Tennis. And we've got Biddeford Legend. Q cards moved up well on the outside. And then subcontract with a train slain against the fences Ozark Lego. And they're just being followed through by what no sun bridge cape and dual ranger at the rear. Into this plain one. Master of the Shadows. Led them through ten. So come down to the eleventh. Long tennis in second, bit of foot legend is third, and a full croy is fourth, and the train slain is five. Get over that one. Everybody jumps it well. Jumps towards the rear by Dawn Ranger, but carrying top weight. There's a, a disadvantage in the start as all that is, you don't ever really want to be top weight. As they all get over the 12th. So we're halfway through the fences. The Master of Shadows leads down to just a couple now. A bit of Legends and a Bon Croy and Lawn Tennis. Wider still is Q Card and Miller Train Slain as they go over the 13th, which will be the last next time round. Is still Master of Shadows that leads us from John Morgan's Biddeford Legend. Graham Clutterbuck's Grey Lawn Tennis just shuffles back up against the fence. I think he's, he's not Miller Train Slain, it's Xenophon Croy. Miller Train Slain's next to the Grey, and then wider still is Q Card. Number two, Craig Beckwith Horses. Got no sun and subcontract. And they didn't get over that particularly well, was at Miller Train Slain and starts to shuffle back a little bit. Got Jose Lago in the green silk screen sleeves to go over the water, and this time there's a big jump by Biddeford Legend that takes it up. So the leaders change now as we come inside just over a mile, and it's Biddeford Legend from Master of Shadows in second. Third is Xenophon Croy as they go over the 16th, but jumps by all, and it's Biddeford Legend. Master of the Shadows by about five now to what no sun and Xenophon Croy on the inside. Club contract is still there. They go over the 17th, but the slow jump by Biddeford Legend has allowed Master of Shadows to go. We've lost subcontract. He's gone. I missed that. It's unseated. One of Craig Beckles is out of it, but he's still got 
don't uh, want no sun sitting in fourth. They all stream over the 18th. So they're five from home. And it's Master of Shadows and Biddeford Legend that lead by about two to three. Back to what no sun and Xenophon Crow on the inside. The grey lawn tennis. They go over the 19th. A much better jump there by Master of Shadows. Has got himself a two length advantage again from Biddeford Legend that just uh, has a little rest. What no sun moving on the outside. The one that's run really well on the inside is Xenophon Croy. The grey outside of him is lawn tennis. Wider still is Q card. Trying to make up a little bit of ground there from the back is Dawn Ranger. But it's Master of Shadows that heads for home as they swing right-handed now with just over four furlongs to go it's Master of the Shadows as they come up three from home it's Master of the Shadows from Biddeford Legend what no sun Xenophon Croy running well on the outside is Q card they'll get over that one but it's still Masters of Shadow of Shadows they've got a catch he's three or four lengths advantage from Biddeford Legend Q card's the one that seems to be running on best what no sun's got nothing left so it's Master of the Shadows Master of the Shadows from Q card and Biddeford Legend he steps over that which is still two to jump but it's still Master of Shadows still got the lead for Josh Sutherland by about four from Q card and Biddeford Legend want no sun Xenophon Croy trying to run on as he gets over the penultimate jumps it well better jump by Q card Biddeford Legend just shift shuffles back but it's Master of Shadows I'm not sure they're going to catch this lead out we're inside the final stages now and we're inside the final furlong and it's a good jump by Master of Shadows and we also lost Xenophon Croy there at the last but it is Master of Shadows trying to be run down by Q card is Q card going to catch him what's Master Master of Shadows doing. Here comes Q card over the top. Q card, Master of the Shadows, Master of the Shadows, Q card. Master of the Shadows and Q card. I think the jockey and Master of Shadows deserves an assassination attempt. Paul Rhodes, well, that's not his jockey, it's Josh's. Did David Hooley's horse? I think he did. Q card just gets up on the line for David Hooley. Well done. Master of Shadows for Josh Sutherland. He'll be gutted. Second, third was Biddeford Legend for John Morgan. Fourth was Ozark Lego for Vinnie Gerard. And fifth was What No Sun for Craig Beckwith. I'll hang you over to uh, Martin now, who's at Bangor.